गाइज वेलकम बैक टू टेक डोज इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लुक एट लॉन्गेस्ट सब आर विद मैक्सिम बिट वाइज एंड प्रॉब्लम विच इज फ्रॉम लीड कोड नंबर टू फोर वन नाइन लेट्स नाउ रीड द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट इन दिस प्रॉब्लम यू आर गिवन एन इंटीजर आर ए नम्स ऑफ साइज एन कंसिडर अ नॉन एम टी सब आर ए फ्रॉम नम्स दैट हैज द मैक्सिम पॉसिबल बिट वाइज एंड इन अदर वर्ड्स लेट के बी द मैक्सिम वैल्यू ऑफ द बिट वाइज एंड ऑफ एनी सब आर ए ऑफ नम्स देन ओनली द सब आर एज विद द बिट वाइज एंड इक्वल्स टू के should be considered return the length of the longest such subarray the bitwise end of an array is the bitwise end of all the numbers in it a subarray is a contiguous sequence of elements within an array so if you consider this nums array then in this case how many subarrays can you form the subarray starting with the first index okay so there will be n subarrays the subarray starting with the second index so there will be n minus 1 such subarrays and so on right at the last index if you start a sub array it will only be of length 1 so you know that there will be n into n plus 1 by 2 number of sub arrays which will be order of n square sub arrays okay so if you produce all possible sub arrays and find out the bitwise end of each of the sub array let like let's say that if you had taken a sub array 2 3 then you find the bitwise end between 2 and 3 it will be equals to 2 okay so Uh, like this you find the bitwise end of all possible sub arrays and you will find that the maximum bitwise end value is going to be is going to be 3 which is between 3 and 3 and that is why the size of it which is giving you the maximum bitwise end the longest size of such sub array is 2 and therefore the answer is 2 because you could have also said that a one size sub array is also giving you bitwise end value 3 for single element the bitwise end is the same value but in this case i want to find the longest sub array and therefore i will try to include as many items as possible and and two is the maximum items that ca i i can have with the maximum bitwise end value 3 similarly in the second example you can only include 4 because the maximum bitwise end of any possible sub array is value 4 and 4 uh you can get only with one sub array of size 1 and therefore the answer is 1 because the maximum size is only 1 but if you enumerate all possible sub arrays then it will be order of n square and if you write order of n square algorithm on 10 to the power 5 size array then it will be 10 to the power of 10 which will be greater than 10 to the power of 8 and so it will give you tle since 10 to the power 8 is our standard for one second we will be trying to uh, get the operations to less than 10 to the power of 8 so in this case an order of n or n log n is what is expected anything less than equals to n log n would work okay now each of the numbers are in the range of 1 to 10 to the power of 6 so all the numbers are positive and 32 bit integer let's now look at an observation if you notice then the bitwise end of numbers can never increase it can only decrease or remain the same because you know that i don't care how many times you and one but if you get at least one zero the entire end value is going to be zero so that is why the and of numbers can never increase it can either remain the same or it can decrease right so if you take an example 3 ended with 7 ended with 15 you will find that if you take the bit bit representation of all of them 3 7 and 15 then the total and value will be less than equals to the smallest value so it will be less than equals to 3 in this case it is equals to 3 therefore if you are given an array let's say 1 2 4 3 if i ask you uh, find the maximum bitwise end of any possible sub array then it will always be equals to the maximum element of the array maximum element of the array because you know that i cannot take the maximum element combined with any smaller element and hope to get a higher value in the bitwise end that will never be possible if you take 4 and bitwise and it with 2 then the answer is going to be 0 so 4 and it with 2 is 0 right so if you take any bitwise and between let's say a and b whatever value that you get this value will be less than equals to the minimum of a comma b that will always be true okay because a set value can get unset but an unset value can never get set that is never possible using bitwise and and therefore the maximum bitwise end that you can get from the given array choosing any possible sub array it will always be equals to the maximum value of the array 
so choose the maximum value of the array in this case it is 4 and you can always be sure that the maximum bitwise and value is going to be 4 now my goal should be to find out the longest length of the sub array having all the fours because if you take a sub array let's say 4 3 where the elements may be less than the maximum value then in that case you know that the bitwise and value is going to be less than equals to the minimum of all the elements in the sub array so if i consider the sub array 2 4 3 and ask you about will the bitwise and be ever 4 no it will always be less than equals to the minimum of the sub array that is 2 it will be less than equals to that okay so i need to select a sub array where all the elements are equals to the maximum value it cannot be greater than maximum value otherwise my maximum value would have been different and it cannot be less than maximum value for sure otherwise the bitwise end will be less than the maximum value so considering 4 to be the maximum value what is the longest contiguous set of items having 4 only 1 therefore the answer in this case will be 1 longest sub array in the second array the maximum value is 4 but how many times it is occurring contiguously only one time they are occurring at two different places okay we cannot combine them and that is why the longest sub array size is only one that contains the maximum bitwise and four therefore you can say that the longest sub array with the maximum bitwise and will be equals to the maximum consecutive count of the maximum value number in the array so if you take this given array and if you try to do the dry run i will say that the maximum contiguous run of item is let's say zero and the maximum length is zero so i will be finding the maximum value first so maximum value of the array is three i can do this in order of n time once i know the maximum value is three i will check if the element is equals to maximum value then i will increase the length of the sub array but it is not equal right so i will just be skipping all the elements where the elements are not equals to the maximum value as soon as the element is equals to maximum value then the current length will increase and the max length will be adjusted again it is equals to maximum value so current length will increase and the max length will be adjusted now let's say that i had more elements after this let's say that i had i had uh, two here and another three at index six and seven then when you go to two then this is not equals to the maximum value so i will be resetting this current length to zero okay because the sub array will have to reset the sub array cannot contain two in the middle otherwise the entire sub array bitwise end will always be less than equals to the minimum of the sub array right that i don't want so when you see another three then the current length will be adjusted to one but one is less than uh, two so max length will not get adjusted and you move, move forward and you are done so the maximum length is the longest sub array with the maximum bitwise end and this is how we are going to solve it so in this entire process we have found the maximum value in one and then we are doing one time iteration which is again order of n and we are not taking any extra space and that is the reason the time complexity is order of n space complexity is order of one i hope it is clear let's now look at the code if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number in this problem we are given the nums array and uh, we will be finding the maximum value and take the maximum length and the current length so we will be iterating through all the elements and if the current item is equals to maximum value then we will be increasing the length of the sub array and if the length of the current sub array is greater than the maximum length then the maximum length will be reassigned to the current length otherwise the current length will be reset to zero and finally we will be returning the longest sub array with the maximum bitwise end so i hope this entire technique is clear if you still have any doubt then feel free to comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible see you guys in the next video thank you